The good news is you can do this. And I'm going to encourage you, whatever you've been through, my prayers are with you, my thoughts are with you. My name is Dr. Rola, clinical psychologist, and today I want to talk to you about how to engage an oppositional child. Before I continue to talk about this topic, please subscribe, press the notification bell so that you have immediate access to my videos. I would also want you to please follow me on social media at Ask Dr. Rola, A-S-K-D-R-R-O. LA. We're going to talk today about the most important thing you need to do if your child has a history of serious oppositional behaviors. I may eventually do videos about addressing the specific behaviors that the child is displaying, but this video is really about you as a parent, guardian, mentor, whatever your role is in the life of the child. And this is about how you can begin to change the whole trajectory of this child's behavioral pattern by what you do. Oftentimes when a young person is oppositional, parents feel that things are out of control and they have no options no other options as far as being able to discipline their child effectively. For many of you that were raised in homes where there was corporal punishment, I would hear them, such parents tell me, Dr. Rola, we can't beat these kids anymore. We can't hit them, it's against the law. So we, don't, we can't do anything. Whatever they do, we just have to let it go. And that is not true. You actually have a lot of tools at your disposal the goal for you as a parent is for you to learn those tools and to use them and be trained in it by practicing it to send your child the message that even when they're oppositional, you're still in control as a parent and you're in control in a way that is constructive, you're in a control in a way that is healthy and you're in control in the way that you actually behave when that child is acting out. This first thing to do, I would recommend to even those that may not be going through, their children may not be as oppositional right now. Maybe just a little bit of acting out here and there. This will also be very helpful. When we're talking about oppositional behavior, we're looking at behaviors that involve aggression, vandalism, stealing, temper tantrums, blaming others for one's, for, for one's behavior, swearing, not attending classes, using substances. There's a whole range. And we're looking at the behaviors more problematic when they're being displayed in more than one setting. Before I offer a diagnosis and give a diagnosis of oppositional defined disorder or conduct disorder, I'm generally looking for that behavior being displayed at home at school or in the community and i'm looking for behaviors that are behaviors that are, are ex, unexpected for the person's age if a young person a toddler a two-year-old is running around the house excited that they can now walk and touching things they're not supposed to touch that is not oppositional behavior that is age appropriate behavior for it to be oppositional, it has to be behaviors that is expected for that person in their age range. It also has to be behaviors that is causing significant distress in the life of the young person, their family, and everyone that relates to them. The person who is oppositional is not living up to their potential academically. They're getting negative attention from people. They're being labeled as bad. And oftentimes these kids act out just to fit that narrative and the label that's been put on them because of their behaviors. And that is why it is important for you as a parent, a guardian, to take the initiative, to take the lead in changing the narrative as far as how you react when this young person displays oppositional behavior. 
one tool I'm going to teach you in today's video is how to pay attention to an oppositional child the right way. Oftentimes, because of the frustration, parents have paid attention to an oppositional child the wrong way. Understandably so. The child is draining you. You're getting phone calls from the school. You're having to pick up this, this kid early, your child early. They're not getting good grades because they're being kicked out of class. The family is being, the family piece is being um, disrupted, that the family life is being disrupted because of this oppositional behavior. So this is not to make you feel bad that you reacted badly. Some of you have even called these children names. You're no good, I'm just tired of this. And made threats that you have not followed through on, which also can make, your, make the young person not take you seriously. So the tool here to pay attention in a way that is healthy. So let's go for it. When a child is oppositional, you're obviously wanting the behaviors to get better. But before you even begin to address the behaviors, I want you to take control of how things are between you and the child by the way you interact. The number one goal for this tool is that you want this child to feel motivated to change. And you want the child to show respect for your authority and you want the child to understand that you are the authority in the home and what you said needs to be taken seriously. And that is why this tool is important. You're going to do something that seems counterintuitive in engaging an oppositional child. You are going to focus on the times when the child is playing. And you're going to pay that child attention when they're playing. You're going to seek out the child in the house when they're playing. Of course, after they've done their chores and their assignments. And you're going to ask to engage in that activity. That activity has to be a safe one and it has to be age appropriate. It will not be okay for that child to be watching a movie that is X-rated and they're minor. You should not be participating in that kind of activity. I don't need to tell you that you already know that. It has to be something that is age appropriate, but it's something that is fun for the child, not fun for you for the child and you sit with the child if it's an older child you ask the older child and you say from now on I'm going to be spending time with you a lot just to see the, to see how you're doing when you're having fun if it's a younger child they usually don't really care that you're not asking permission you can just sit with them and what you're doing is you are paying attention to the child when they are not displaying those oppositional behaviors Remember, all the attention has been focused on the child when they're acting out. And now you're trying to change the trajectory of things. To show the child, I see you when you're not acting out. You are a person of value, even though I've seen you act out in ways that I'm even embarrassed about. You're bringing out love for this child and showing it to them, even though they have disappointed you. You are increasing the motivation of the child to be able to work with you so that as you begin to set the stage to begin to address behaviors directly, they're going to see you as somebody they can trust to work with. Yes, I know you're the parent, but in this situation of where a child is oppositional, they are looking for something from you to show that they're still worthy even though they may not deserve it. One of the tools I want to share with you as a parent to encourage you to use this tool is to write a write get a piece of paper draw a line in a line of two columns one column to be a characteristics of a teacher that you had coming up that was mean make a note of how you felt when you were in that class and how your grades suffered or you were not as motivated to turn in the work because of the teacher's attitude and then the right side of the column, the right column, write about the teacher who is positive, who was validating, who came to the class prepared, and how that affected your motivation, how you felt about the teacher, and how that even motivated you to do good work. That is a kind of image I want you to have in mind when you are working with a child who is oppositional. 15 to 20 minutes a day might feel like it's too much, but I have to tell you it is not. Because the amount of time you spend 
attending to the to the negative behaviors is more likely to be more than that and in those 50 to 20 minutes you're going to sit with this child and you're going to pay them full attention your mind is not going to be on anything else you're not going to have a plan to answer the phone you are not going to be planning to go for shopping shopping or doing anything that could take you from being with that child in that moment what you're going to do is you're going to engage with the child at a level in which they want you to engage. If it's a video game, if they want you to play with the video game, or if it's just sitting there and watching them, then you're going to do that. You're going to relax. Because when a child is oppositional, they've often seen you at your worst when you're tired, and understandably so. And you're showing a different side of you to your child to let your child know this is what it may even look like even more in the future if you continue to play appropriately, if you continue to do the things that are acceptable in line with our rules at home and our rules at school and the rules at school. So you're going to be relaxed and you are going to pay attention. You can time yourself if that helps and sit there and enjoy the activity that the child is enjoying. And you will continue to engage in that behavior as long as the child is being peaceful and appropriate in their play. Now, what you're going to do is not control the narrative. This is not a time when you're going to be telling the kid, oh, you're not playing that game. If you do it this way, you will do better. You're always a parent. You're going to be doing a lot of directing when it comes to going hard on correcting these behaviors. This is about playing with your child and not taking control let the child lead you in this time of play you are going to speak words of encouragement and connect in ways that are non-verbal words of encouragement could be good job awesome fantastic well i didn't know you could play that well if the kid is older you got to be very careful about how you dish out compliments because if you're going to be telling a child who is the older teen, the older child, you're gonna say why you're complimenting them. And of course, you're not gonna be complimenting every minute. You're gonna be taking breaks because again, you're paying attention and they're going to hear that genuineness from your compliments. You can tap them, you can hug them, you can pat them on the back, you can brighten up. All that sends the child, sends the child the message that you are validating them for those times when they're not being disruptive for those times when they're not being oppositional and that is a good thing and you will repeat this you will do this every day for at least a few weeks and as a child behavior get get better you will then do it no more than three to four times a week what are you doing when you do this you are selectively paying attention to positive you're setting the stage for a time when you will begin to practice ignoring those maladaptive behavior, ignoring those oppositional behaviors. This time, the child is leading you. You're validating the child non-verbally and verbally. And you are letting the child know that you don't have to be in control of everything if they're doing what they're supposed to do. And at the time you're going to come hard and you come a little bit more controlling is when they're not doing what they're supposed to do. I want you to subscribe, share with as many people as possible. I'll work on another video to talk about behaviors, but I want you to try this first and document how it went for you. Leave a comment about whether this worked, what did not work, what made it difficult, what made it easy, and some of changes you've seen or not seen, and put down there Put a comment there for me and I will definitely read them and I will respond and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Bye now.